This is my miter saw station that I built about several years ago. And at the time that I built it, I also built these extensions or wings that allowed me to cut longer boards and to put a a stop block. Now, my uh, router table is high enough that I can rest the end of my extension on that. And a few days ago, I come up with this idea of attaching my extension or wing. Uh, it's a block with two pins. As you can see, put two holes in the bottom of the extension and mount that. And just, today I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to make it out of this piece of uh, oak. Lost my pencil. I'm always looking for a pencil. And I'm just going to cut it six and a quarter. And it'll be an inch and five eighths wide. from the end and a half inch up from the bottom lay out where we put our pins put this flush with the end of it, mark. We're going to come an inch and a half from the outside edge of the trim, inch and a half. from the edge of the uh, backsplash, I guess you call it, on this 13 sixteenths thick. So, we'll make this just a little proud of a 3 eighths. Close as we can get to the center. up here take the try square transfer their mark let's see here Say this is 13 sixteenths. The center is a little bit proud of 
38 and a little shy of 7 sixteenths. I believe that'll work. Got her old drilled. And our block. Now it's time to see if we can get them drilled in a the extension. This is a brad point bit, so You can see I blocked this up so that uh, it is level with my table saw, uh, miter saw table, and the straight with the fence. So now I can can take my sharpie and mark it so that I can place it And my matter so the station is finally finished after I don't know four or five years and I guess I call that a wrap